Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. Hey. From Keep It Up With The Sports Podcast, we have Zach Hirsch and Lamar Odom. Welcome. What's, What's up, my up? man? What How y'all up? feeling? Thanks. Chilling, bro. Good. Yeah. Before, before we get started, I got to ask uh, my Queens native over there. I'm sure you grew up mm-hmm. a... Did you grow up a, a Knicks fan? Facts. So how did you feel like... <laughs> we was almost there. The Knicks lost, of course, a couple days ago, but we were almost there. Yeah. <laughs> Lamar don't believe they was almost there. Like, oh, what do you mean almost there? Almost there. No, I know. It just, it's the hard. team was beat up. It's hard for me to watch the Knicks. A lot of these uh, offenses really, like, they depend on one dude. Mm-hmm. That was going to run out anyway, play against Boston or somebody that's a little better. What do the Knicks need? I think a scoring big man. A big man that can put it in the basket. So Devin Booker, Paul George, nah, you're not, you're not, because that's what the rumors are. The rumor mill says those two. Nah, you need a, a, a rebounder, defender, scoring big man. No yeah. Randall though. You're not, because Randall's injured. That's what. That's I mean, what he, his he, will, he will, he will help, but you know, I, I want some like some length, like six, eleven, seven, pause, four, pause, rebound, pause. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. <laughs> 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 what do you think they need, Zach? Because you're a sports guy. Yeah, I, I think they need to scale back the minutes for their players. Seems like the whole team was falling apart. Um, OG was hurt. Josh Hart was hurt. Um, I like their core. I would be trying to get LeBron. I would do full court press on that. I think, really? Yeah. LeBron. Yeah, they was talking about LeBron. His dream was to play Mass Square Garden growing yeah. up. I think he would really help. Yeah. Do you want to leave LA to come play in New York, though? Get your money. I mean, he's rich as hell, but the damn. Taxes, he's rich taxes as hell. are crazy here. That's true. I think they win a ring. With, with, LeBron. with LeBron? Yeah. And Bronny? Because you know Bronny. <laughs> oh, Bronny's coming, baby. It's a package deal. It's a package deal. Pause. Shout out to Bronny. Oh, Pause. you did say that. Yeah, it's a <laughs> but who, first of all, who are you, Zach? Because we know Lamar Odom, of course, and, yeah, of course. and Caitlyn Jenner. But why, how did you get involved in all of this? Um, well, first person that stamped me was Jada Kiss. We did Kiss in the Mist with World Star. And then I did uh, Pac and Zach with Pac Man Jones. Mm-hmm. And a crazy guy named uh, Steve Marcano that we all know had the idea to put the three of us together. So yeah. it's an honor to work with, you know, two Olympians. Mm-hmm. That's what's good. That's what's good. And then the uh, the name of it, Keeping Up With. Did y'all get the whole Keeping Up thing? No, nah, um, I, I wouldn't have. That wasn't my idea. Was, okay. yeah. I thought that was kind of corny, but okay, I could see why they thought of that. You know, yeah. Having me and Caitlin on the show. Okay. And, you know, given the relationship, the past relationship with um, Chloe, usually, you know, when you break up with somebody, the family, you break up with the family too. There's how, like a death of the family. The, yeah, how, well, I mean, was, you know, how did that relationship still happen, you know, between you and Kaylin? Well, it happened um, because of because of the show. This is my first time really even being around Kaylin. Oh, okay. You know, since uh, me and Chloe got, got divorced. Did you even know Kaylin? or did you know Bruce? I knew both. Okay, okay, okay. But when yeah. I, <laughs> before the coma, before I was in the coma, yeah. you know, it was, he was Bruce, but mm-hmm. then I woke up out the coma. It was it was Caitlyn. So I know you was like, what the I fuck? had to catch on fast. I had to ca- I had to catch on fast. You know yeah, what yeah. Me? I saw the Kardashians gave the ble- gave their blessing for this podcast too. Like, why did you need their blessing? I mean, I I didn't need their blessing, okay. but I'm you know I'm pretty sure Bruce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wanted to make sure everything was cool and everybody was alright with it. Oh, so you still call him Bruce? Sometimes I get you know what I mean. Is he and is she offended I don't think he gets offended by it. I think he probably would understand why people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, get mixed, mixed up. How how come you don't never, or she don't never do no press with y'all? Nah, she does, but we're she, doing press she ain't been on this one. Really? Yeah, we're doing press tomorrow, she's gonna be here. What you, y'all must be doing Fox News then. She don't want to <laughs> CBS. <laughs> 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 CBS. Okay. She ain't want to come to not with this shit. Yeah. yeah. Now, Lamar, I seen you on a press run, but I seen some of the, the, the press outlets that you've been to uh, were very critical of you in the past. So so how was that? Because, you know, it's uh, I've seen you doing, you're doing a bunch of press, but mm-hmm. how do you do a lot of those interviews when a lot of people were critical for well, you? The past is the past. You know, I don't really know these people. I don't know how no, I have no harbor, no hard feelings to them. You know, and this is business, you know what I'm saying? So let's put that to the side, it's nothing. Mm-hmm. How, long, how long did it take for you to get basketball out your system, Lamar? Um, well, since I've been retired? or yeah. I mean, I don't think it's really ever gonna be out of my system. You still feel like mm-hmm. you can play right now? I might have been a back of my mind, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But I know that's not true. You have to get in incredible shape, 
You know what I mean? Be better than I was before. I mean, I always watch it. You know, I watch women's basketball, mm -hmm. college basketball, mm -hmm. high school basketball. Anytime I get to watch basketball, I'm peeping. Do you? I, I thought there was a rumor one time that you were going to do the big three. You did do it. Yeah, I did Didn't do you? it. My, yeah. my back gave out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wasn't ready for it. Oh, so you definitely not, you can't get back. No, nah, I don't know. Oh, he said, <laughs> I said that, <laughs> and coach, sub, subconsciously coach. I'm watching, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But mm -hmm. I know if I go to make a move, I wouldn't even, you know, I, my mind would be saying move left, my body would be breaking down, going right. Do you, do you got to replace that uh, itch with something else? Like, is there something that, like, you've been doing basketball your whole life. Yeah, I mean, well, I, you know, I'm working on relationship with my kids. This is the first time I've lived with my kids in years. You know, nice. My daughter's 25 and, and my son is 22. You know, so they take a lot of my time. I was gonna ask, did, did basketball take away a lot of your life? And meaning not just yeah, that yeah. because and then, you, know, you and came then, from a, a, a star from mm -hmm. high school, from yeah. elementary, well not elementary school, but, but mid school, you was a star from there and you just never looked back. No, I never did. You know, and that and you know, bad habits, I missed a lot of time with my children that I'm getting back now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want more kids? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what's what's up. Up. <laughs> Congrats on seven. It was it seven years of sobriety, though. Was the, oh, nah, I'm just, I ain't get high since what 2015, since the accident. Yeah, that's what seven. How long is that? Nine, like nine, nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Damn. Yeah. Nine. Almost is a it, decade. Is yeah. it difficult? Nah. No. Uh -uh. No, I almost you know, try to kill me, man. Yeah. I'm getting high. <laughs> Life is too precious, too do important you, to me. Do you cut everything out or just the, the, the substances that almost killed you? I mean, I don't sniff coke. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe in marijuana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's about it. I don't but, really drink nothing like that. So when people say marijuana is a gateway drug, the other stuff, do you believe that? Like like when you- I mean, well, I, you know, I would, for me, uh, marijuana helped me kick a lot of that other bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For me, everybody got their own path. They. Mm -hmm through when it comes to drug use and shit like that. But a lot of people say that that when they're dealing with it, they reach out to you or you reach out to them to, to help them get on the road of recovery. Why is that so important to you? Well, I want to see people live their best lives. You know, mm -hmm. I want to see people dying out here and shit like that. Mm -hmm. It's crazy out here. You know that. Mm -hmm. How can you do a podcast every week, Lamar? You seem like you don't really want to talk much. Who? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little tired. I hung, I hung out last night. Oh, okay. And I just came from doing a, a Chef Ramsey show you know, with my children, so I'm a little beat. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm good, I'm keeping up beat. I wanted to commend y'all for y'all hard work. Y'all up here every day, six in the morning. Yeah. Do, you, do you find yourself having working. to keep everybody's energy up, Zach? Uh, a little bit, I like okay. to, I'm like the maestro, you know? Mm -hmm. What is the, the you know, I don't like to talk either. What is the uh, the the top the topics about? Like, is it y'all keep it sports or how? I think they kind of just go with your life? they just kind of just go into like life, like just conversation. Yeah, yeah like everybody that we had in the, on the, on the show so far seems mm -hmm. like the show's been like therapeutic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for Amber for Rose. I see like yeah, Amber Rose on yeah. there, and uh, you know, Sugar Ray was on the show. And he was mm -hmm. telling us a story about how he was. You know, Touched by, I guess, one of his coaches or something like that. God mm. damn. Word. Yeah, so, yeah, no, yeah. it goes deep. Yeah, yeah, everybody, you know, and then Caitlyn been through a lot. Yeah. I don't know who in the world got more stories than her. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She, Caitlyn was drafted in the NBA. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all probably didn't know that. I didn't know that. No. You know what I'm saying? So, WNBA or the. What you <laughs> 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 nah, the NBA. Bruce Jenner was really? drafted in the NBA. Yeah. What year was that? I think 1979. You Did you know that before he told you? Nah. What team? Nah, I think the Sacramento. I, I don't think it was Royals. the Kings. Sacramento Royals. Yeah. So what right. happened? Why didn't? Why didn't? I don't. I mean, he can't. Obviously, he ain't played basketball. Yeah. It was but like at a, that time, that point, um, they had like a lot more rounds in the draft, yeah. mm -hmm. and at that time, they were just picking the best athlete. Oh, I think okay. that's you know like around the same time, like Bullet Bob Page got drafted to the Cowboys, and people were just like trying shit. <laughs> You know what like I mean? just drafts an Olympian. I don't remember and, that either. Yeah, 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 no, <laughs> Bullet Bob Hayes was a track guy. The Cowboys drafted him. He ended up being like an amazing football player. Got gotcha. you. Is mm -hmm. that your championship ring you wearing? Come yeah, on. both of them. Damn, see, I see. I've never we seen anybody that. wear their rings out. They yeah. always just keep them. Why do you wear yours? Uh, I love them. Yeah, yeah, I love them, bro. And you should. Like, yeah. I don't know why people don't wear them. I mean, it depends. I probably wouldn't wear them if I if I had two. I don't think I would wear three or four on my hands. But fuck mm -hmm. it. Does, does, does uh, the, the good brother Kobe Bryant still come to you in your dreams? I remember I saw you say that and I thought that Nah, was he did, he was. When I was on the, um, uh, what show was that I was on? Uh, big Brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where I did like, 
30 days in, I had like five, six Kobe Bryant drinks. Five or six? Yeah. Wow. In 30 days, right? But that, like, the, like I don't know, I'm, I'm a spiritual dude, and um, Big Brother was hard, mm -hmm. like mentally. Mm -hmm. There was a couple of times, you know, I wanted to quit. But I don't know, maybe he just was coming to me, like, to push me through, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Were all of them different? Were all the dreams different? Yeah, the the last one that I remember the um, the most, we was having a, a three point shooting contest, and you know Kobe was really um, specific with his footwork, so I would kind of like follow him, like every step, mm -hmm. so like the corner, the wing, top of the key, and then we got to the left corner. Before he shot, he just turned around. He was like, hello, the afterlife ain't everything what people make it up to be. Mm -hmm. Then I just kind of like woke up. Like, mm -hmm. up. So I didn't know what he meant by that. Or, oh, it could mean a lot of things. You know? So y'all hadn't spoke in the dream up until that moment. He said something. Y'all yeah, was shooting. Yeah, we were shooting. What were the other dreams about, if you don't mind me? Asking? I can't really remember. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know how dreams work. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I, I wanted to ask too, you know, when Rudy Gobert, People were pissed off at him because he missed a playoff game to go see the birth of his child. What were your thoughts on that, and would you do the same? I don't know. That's a tough position to be in. I, you know, it probably was his first child. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I don't know. I probably would see what my team, how my team would feel about it. You know, not the wife, just, just the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. You know what I mean? But yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Is it really though? Yeah, I mean. Well, I'm, see, I'm not with a basketball player. Yeah, during the playoffs. I'm not a basketball player, so yeah, that's the tough. mindset is different. It is different. During the playoffs, I can really couldn't see anything but but my child, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, taking me away from that. But, mm -hmm. but y'all know every year when the playoffs is going to happen, so it's like I think pregnancies and all, stuff like that should be planned better, you know what I mean? Especially if you – I mean, nobody knows if they're going to make it to the playoffs or whatever, but if you're a, a star like that and you – I mean, I how you going to plan a uh, for your wife? How you going to plan – I mean, I guess, but, like, you know I'm a you know I'm a basketball player. You know this shit going to happen every year around the same time. Like, we, we got to plan better. I ain't. I mean, I ain't saying use condoms, but I ain't saying not to neither. No, I mean, we got. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Nine like, months before. Yeah, I mean, let's wait before we have sex point. because we got the playoffs no, no, coming no, up. No, we have sex. We just had eight sex months. Smart, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pull out. You know, we wear yeah, condoms. Yeah. Something. Something. These things. You know, it takes nine months to have a baby, and they can come. Mm -hmm. They come when they want, mm -hmm. and at any time around the playoffs, it's just like, yeah, let's, let's plan this responsibly. Yeah, and then to <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. I don't know how. Like, I don't know if you would. The mindset really... of a basketball player is different because your whole life has been sacrificed. Yeah, yeah. For basketball. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. All athletes, most of them. What do you think, Zach? Um, I I, I agree with Jess. I would mm -hmm. I would I would plan it. Yeah. But he's I'm Jewish. Saying. I'm Jewish. Yeah, maybe oh. I think ahead. Yeah, so. <laughs> he said it like yeah, they plan. <laughs> <laughs> they plan ahead. Yeah, you can. What do y'all think about Bronny coming to the league? You think Bronny's ready, or and do you think a team should grab Bronny to hopefully, possibly get LeBron? Um, I seen him play a lot. I don't know if he's ready for the NBA to be an impact player in the NBA. I think if you gave him a couple of years, he could um you know perfect his ball handling and his shot, and of course he got the athleticism. Pass down on him, you know what I'm saying? But I think he need a little bit. And what do you think? You think a team should grab him Definitely. in the hopes of getting? Yeah, <coughs> yeah. I'm, in hopes I'm of getting his pops? Oh, yeah, that's a different story now. Yeah. You feel me? I, it's a weird um, draft class, too. I would take his take him just as if I, if I think I got a chance of getting his pops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, he, and Bron a free agent this year, right? So he can. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Word. Bron said he's playing with his son, so. I think so. Yeah. I, mean, I don't. Th I wouldn't. If I'm the Hornets, I'm not picking him. <laughs> and LeBron's in a gum, but. If you're a championship contender, yeah, Knicks, yeah, yeah, the Knicks. He pushing for the Knicks. Mm -hmm. And what did you think? What do you think about um, Giannis's brother? Because that, that's been a, the talk of the league as well. Giannis's brother playing with Giannis on the Bucks, and they're saying. That I mean, well, he's just not as good. But you compare him to Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's like top four, top five, maybe in some people's ever. Mm -hmm. I think that's unfair comparison. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Exactly. Uh, the memes are funny. You know? they, they're yeah, 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 yeah. They're funny. Um, he's definitely in the league because of Giannis. But Giannis should do that. Put his brother on. I think he got him a deal with Nike too. So he's really? just a good brother. Yeah. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, what don't you know? Right. The Thanasis signature. Nah, he's not a signature, oh, but I think know. he signed. Yeah. Now the podcast only gonna be about sports because you know people want to hear Kardashian story. Nah, I ain't getting on that. I ain't getting on that. I ain't getting on that. Nothing. None of that. I ain't getting on that. So just all sports. sports the only clickbait we giving you was the damn name. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good, clean, uplifting show. That's trying to like all these other podcasts, like black. Bashing blacks. Mm-hmm. I'm not into that. Not you know what I mean? What changed? What changed Lamar? Because Lamar calmed down a lot. He's well, almost, almost, almost lost my life. And that changed. And a night where I didn't do drugs. So, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Make you see things from different perspective. Yeah. You know. What I mean? And you realize what's more important. My life. Mm-hmm. It was you know a car crash, right? Nah. <laughs> oh, the time when you OD? Yeah, when I OD. Oh, okay, okay, got you, got you, got you. You feel me? Do you remember everything before that, or was it like a blur because you? No, nah, I remember everything before that. I remember sitting down and about to pick the girls out, mm. put the drink down. Woke up three days later on Damn. ESPN and all that shit. Damn. <laughs> he was like this. Just Twelve strokes, six heart attacks too. Jesus. Jesus. Christ. Couldn't walk or talk when I woke up. Mm-hmm. But that's how you know you're here for a bigger reason. Crash. So what about the when you what about the car crash when you when how, uh, car crash? What car I crash? thought you had a car crash. No. Hmm. Just making stuff up. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. Not. I thought that was a, like no. no. Oh, that was Kevin Hart. Mm. <laughs> 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 you remember when you was gonna beat someone in ass? <laughs> you remember not Kevin Hart? You don't even remember. I don't. Now you called me one day and was like, "Yo, Envy, what's up?" And he was like, "Yo, we from Queens." But tell Charlemagne I'm gonna beat his ass. Why? Wow, what was you on my back about, Charlemagne? I, I don't remember. even remember now. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? no, the car no. crash. But no, it's crazy because. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's crazy though because though. Um, so you hit two park cars. Okay, I did. <laughs> well, I did. Yeah. I did. You I did. remember? Okay. Yeah. But I, I was coming home one night and tried to pick the phone up. But um, I told him I called that night too. Mm-hmm. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Yeah, I had a nice whip. Real. Were you really, really hurt from that one? Nah. Okay. Nah, I wasn't even hurt. I was cool. Yeah. I was cool. But you was the same way, like the same way he is now. He was the same way at my comedy show. Like he came, I think I I, I was in Ohio. This is when you was with your ex ex. This was uh Sabrina oh, Paul. Sabrina, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um and he had came, he was the same way. And I was like, damn, am I funny? Well, it's just nigga, this nigga not laughing. At me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only person that he would he would like <laughs> chuckle, but like it would be right back serious. Sabrina was cracking up, everybody was cracking up, but he was still serious. And then I had a game that I used to play with my fans. I would act like I'm giving away money, and he came up. He was so chill. It was just like I'm like like it, the same exact. I'm always way a cool, now. relaxed dude. That's how you were you know then. I mean? So yeah. do you remember yeah. that, Lamar? <laughs> yeah, you remember. Yeah, I remember. He <laughs> 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 remember coming to my show. Don't play with me like that. <laughs> Did y'all watch the fight over the weekend? Y'all get into the fight. Oh man, yeah. I was at a I was at a party right. at a Jamie Foxx's house. I Sorry. stepped away, Tyson watched Fury. it for an hour. Tyson Fury and you yeah, Tyson Tyson Fury. That was a nice little flex. You at Jamie Foxx's house? He yeah, looked. we were at a little event, and I just stepped away for like an hour, just watched it on my phone. Mm-hmm. How, uh, how's how's he doing? How's Jamie doing? Uh, beautiful, yeah. Uh, Tyson Fury lost, home. right? Nice guy. Yeah, he lost. He lost, yeah. yeah. Close fight. One point. Mm. It was a decision? Yeah. He almost Split knocked him out, though. No, mm. Usyk's almost knocked Fury Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, yeah. Fury was... I thought mm. the ref was going to call that during that time. Because he was yeah. eating, his hands weren't up. And... I thought the ref did a good job. Do you get tired of answering car- questions about the Kardashians, Lamar? That was my life, bro. Mm. I don't get tired of talking about my life. I but it feel like the, he was also part of the Laker dynasty. I feel like the Laker dynasty should come before the Kardashian. It dynasty. depends on what you like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Some people love sports. Mm-hmm. And don't give a fuck about reality TV. Some mm-hmm. people love reality TV and don't give a fuck about sports. Mm-hmm. And I could tell um, when somebody approached me, I could tell you know, where they stand and how they feel mm-hmm. about that situation. What do you think, which one had, which do you think had more impact on you? On you? That's a tough question. It depends. I would say Lakers, though. Mm-hmm. I would say Lakers. Because yeah. you, you don't get the opportunities probably to even to be on Kardashians if you're not a Laker. Well, if I never met, you know, Chloe. Yeah. yeah. Who did y'all meet? Some club. I forgot the name of the club. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know who she was. Mm-hmm. And, you know, 30 days later, I was married. Wow. Yeah. At one point, Damn. you had said that you <laughs> regretted leaving Taraji for Chloe. Do you still feel that way? Then I what? You regret 
leaving. I regretted the the way I left. You regret the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't like a man. Oh, you, you were with yeah. Taraji when you met Chloe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You broke mm -hmm. up with Taraji B. Henson for Chloe Kardashian? I mean What was the reason? Just be nah, it wasn't a reason. Well, yeah. you know. That's why you regret the way he did it. You think yeah. you got you got caught up in Hollywood, you think? Like you think you what's got caught, caught up, up in what's, the lights? What's caught up in Hollywood? I lived in Hollywood and I lived yeah. my life. I don't, I don't know what you're being caught up in. Because it's a different it's a different energy when you rolling with the Kardashians when you part of that. It's like an well, image. I was rolling with the Lakers in the Kardashians. So Damn. Could, Big flex. You know, yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. On Sundays, the Lakers come on. Every Sunday we play every Sunday. And then on Sundays, me and Chloe's show will come on. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's being caught up in Hollywood or, mm -hmm. you know, just living the life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From the outside looking in, you'd be like, damn, what's my fucking doing it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was, it was fun. What do you miss more, the NBA or uh, Khloe Kardashian? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Khloe Kardashian, I miss my wife more. Yeah. Um, have y'all spoke since? You have a good relationship? Or? Nah, sometimes I, you know, go through a DM, say what's up. Text, hey, big head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she respond? You know yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Do you, do you believe in the Kardashian curse? No. I don't, what's the curse? I don't know. I don't know. Who That's either. what they always say. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know yeah. I don't believe in it. Yeah. Have you spoken to Taraji? Nah. No. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just as friends or whatever, like just nah. to make amends. No. Mm -mm. Okay. I wish I had, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not a stud, are you, Zach? Uh, first I'm, of all, it's been bothering me the whole interview. First of all, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what is that? Yo, what is that? <laughs> Yo, what is that? Can someone know, explain that I can answer? Yeah, oh my that's God. crazy. No, what the fuck no. is a stud? Because, <laughs> oh my God. Because the one of our studs? producers texted and asked that. It said, is, is Zach Kirsch a stud? That's not what does that mean? It's been bothering me the whole time. Look, that is a what does lesbian. That mean? That's, that's a lesbian. Are you a lesbian? A butch lesbian. Whoa. I'm what, show what you gave that impression? Oh, Yo. <laughs> now you just hurt that man's insecure. He's gonna be Charlie insecure all the time. No, no, I'm not. I so ever since he said that, I'm sitting there thinking like, is he? I mean, you're gorgeous. It could be because you're gorgeous, pretty, handsome. Oh, all, oh. You know. um, no, I'm, I'm not. Uh, 200 pound dude, I don't know. I yeah, like yeah. girls. <laughs> How do I answer that? Just like, I'm just asking. She, she put it in my head and I couldn't even bother me. I don't know. Maybe she got me mixed up. With the another like Chaz Bono or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. A fucking stud. He's like, I've heard a lot of things. I've never I did a show that. with Jada Kiss and Pac Man. I'm a stud, yo. Yeah, oh stud. my god. They, 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 they would, they would do that. They're not homophobic. They would. But do like, that. bro, <laughs> I'm a 22 year old like straight male. I don't know. You're 22. Yeah. Oh shit. That's what's up. You're a fucking baby. Like a baby shout stud. Shout out to studs. I'm just not one of them. By the way, I'm not trying to get. Yo, shout out to them. They're probably <laughs> dope. I just. You're a baby stud. <laughs> oh, oh, Fuck one. it. What, That's what right. you ask, Maybe uh, I am one. What do, you, what do you guys think of the NBA now, today's NBA? You know, is it softer? I mean, it's, it's changed. The rules change. You know, is it like a good thing you, or bad thing? Uh, it depends on what you like, right? Some people like watching defense, some people like watching offense. Mm -hmm. Me, I prefer both. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You got some players that you can look at them and see they they prefer both. You know, um, shot making is going up. Yeah, because the defense is not there. And yeah, people, like people are driving through the lane. Yeah, see, I mean, so, they drive through the lane with you. You gonna punch somebody in the face? Yeah, punch so, them in the chest. So, they're not gonna do it again. So there you go. Mm -hmm. you know, it depends on you know your appetite for the game. Do you like to see that physical back in the game, or do you think? No, it's I like I like that's why I like playoff basketball the most because I think that's when it's the most physical. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you have to prove yourself. You gotta use your teammates too, because mm -hmm. these coaches, um, you know, they're good enough to know how to um, contain one player. Uh, that's why I think the triangle offense is like really, you know, missing from basketball. Where you had to use your team. Mm -hmm. Are coaches mm -hmm. coaching now, or is it one of the things they just manage in time? Because I don't really see coaching. I just. Nah, I don't really think they really coaching. You know, because a coach, it don't really stop when the buzzer sound. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, I think um, the responsibilities of coaches probably changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I think coaches are like, they don't really get, um, they keep rehiring the same coaches for losing. Mm -hmm. I think that hurts the game. How you felt about the WNBA? 
I love it. Right I love now. the evolution of women's yeah. basketball. Yeah, we need women, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Um, but I've seen it because I went to a Christ the King, and they always were like ranked top five in the country um, in women's basketball. Mm-hmm. So I've kind of seen it. Yeah, you know, at an early age in high school. Do you have a favorite right now? WNBA, like right now. Um, what was the what's the one girl from LSU? She's a rookie uh, Angel. now. Angel, Angel Reese. Reese. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, I like Angel her heart, Reese. her competitiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her drive. She reminds me like a, a female Kevin Garnett. Oh wow! Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, how did you become like an authority in sports? Like, what made all of these people say, "You know what? I want to go talk to this young man." Um, sports. been doing since I was like four or five years old. I went from SpongeBob to Sports Center, and mm-hmm. I started doing the sports picks when I was ten. And uh, I won a football pool, a bunch of grown men. And the first people I worked with were Jake and Logan, you know. Um, I don't know. I think just, just being myself, being real, I think people connect to that. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite sport? Football. Who's your team? Cowboys. Hey, hey, hey all right. <laughs> Y'all like you the Cowboys? Hell yeah. Yeah. I'd rather root for Indian. <laughs> Shout out to the That's Cowboys. <laughs> you know what I mean? I root for them too. All right. Yeah, I'm like Cowboys. <laughs> you would have rapped them. Yeah. The yeah. Cowboy yeah. Indian. The Cowboy Indian. That's what they said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's your team? Giants. Oh, well, I like I like I like um, Baltimore too. Nah, nah, I'm Giants. Yeah. I like Baltimore too. Yeah. Who do you think gonna win the Super Bowl this year? Baltimore gonna win it. Oh, what's the name got good too though? Who's that? Dolphins. Dolphins. Oh, they lost a lot of people. That was like eight Picked starters. Odell. Mm-hmm. They got Odell Beckham. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, Odell. that'll win you a Super Bowl in 2024. Damn, you really see that sarcasm over there? He's right. He's, he's not lying. He's they not, need defense. They lost too. their offensive line, the defense. Like, yeah. Fuck it, Odell will fix it. Did they lose the offensive <laughs> line? Yeah, they lost Robert Hunt. Like, you need an offensive line. Yeah, they you definitely do. I think Kansas City should be favored for sure when you got that guy at quarterback, you know. Will your Cowboys ever win? No. Hell no. Not with this coach, <laughs> not with this quarterback. You got to change a lot of things. Dak right? Prescott is the reason you Cowboys He's not winning. Lose? He's not going to. You're not going to pay Dak Prescott 45, 50 million a year. And then win the Super Bowl. It's just, it's impossible. You like the Cowboys too, Sean? Huh? Yeah, like he Cowboys loves too. the Cowboys. Cowboys. Cowboys fan. Mm-hmm. It's how I know you're not a stud because studs are way more optimistic than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, why wouldn't you be more optimistic, Zach? Uh, Every year, Charlamagne say the Cowboys are going to win, and we just laugh it off. It's my team. Yeah, I'm not problem. optimistic at all this year. They, they should have tore the whole shit down. I agree. They should have they traded Dak. They should have gotten a young coach. Like, you got to rebuild around Micah and CD. You know, that's the future. I agree. Mm. I agree. And how can these people listen to the uh, podcast? How can they listen? It must be out in, a, in two weeks, I think? Yeah, a couple weeks. How can they listen? Oh, it's not even out yet? No. 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 They got six episodes done so far. Yeah. That's right. eight, I'm excited eight about episodes. We just shot with uh, Jada Rose Kiss one. and uh, a young up-and-coming yeah. boxer. How many She's is Caitlyn? a lot. All of them. Really? Yeah, Caitlyn's on all is like them. the... The catalyst. It's easy for me because it's like I'm playing with Kobe again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just swing the ball, Caitlyn, I'm open. Which ball? If not, you got oh, it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yo, there he's talking you kinky. Didn't even pause it. Now you're yeah. talking kinky. <laughs> you didn't even pause it. You just like swing the ball, Kaylin. I'm open. Now you see this. Christ. You are kinky. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> no, one else went, no one else would even think in that. Nah, not at all. Charlemagne just mind went, yeah. He was excited to see Kaylin. <laughs> not my. And then when Kaylin didn't come this morning, he was a little depressed. I ain't gonna yeah, play. I wasn't yeah. depressed. I just was like, oh, that'd be a good interesting Kaylin is an amazing storyteller, bro. I can yeah. see. Amazing. He, he lived a life, clearly. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. First person on the Wheaties box. Facts, mm-hmm. facts, mm-hmm. facts. You know what I mean? Two lives, like. Word. Yeah. <laughs> Woman of the year, gold medalist. That sound crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> crazy <laughs> All that stuff in the Woman of the All year. All yeah. one lifetime. That's a crazy you know? life. It yeah. Is. yeah. And and amazing at the same time. That's right. So well, two weeks keeping up with sports podcast. You have an exact date? Nah. Nah. No, we just is this a real thing? Are <laughs> 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 oh, y'all just doing this to promote something? Yeah, yeah, no. This is no. a market employee. No, it's a real thing. You'll, Promise. I, Zach yeah. coming out with a rap album. This is just a, you know. Right. Right. It's I been rap. a long rollout. I feel like y'all you announced right? this a y'all month spit, ago. Yeah. 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 yeah, I got yeah. some shit with He kiss. got a drink with Jada Kiss, bro. Yeah, and no rap. Damn. And Pac-Man. We did a music video for the Super Bowl. Really? Where you from, Zach? I'm from South Florida. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, you know, crazy. Jewish area. Trust fund baby? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I wouldn't say a trust fund baby. You know, I've been First I've been getting it up, getting you know. Since I was, get to I've it. been working since like fifteen, but yeah, uh, yeah, definitely never struggle for food. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Never yeah. had syrup sandwiches, but I'm that's, saying that's fine. Everybody don't have to have that struggle. No. What's mm-hmm. your music about? Um, I did like a, a Super Bowl joint with Pac. All sports related. Mm-hmm. You know, just sticking to to what I like. 
Give us some bars, Zach. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you, you, rapping, not you, Zach, you, you got yourself into that one, Zach. Yeah, that's my fault. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's my fault. Let's go back to the stud thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, now you're time to eat it up. It's not <laughs> a good <laughs> Something that you already got out. It don't matter. You don't got to. Yo, I should never said I rap. Nah, you yeah. should yeah, You're no, in New I'm York, tripping. bro. I'm in New York, yeah. New that's New my York. bad. I'm sorry. That's my bad. I'll make it up. You okay. don't want to do it, I understand. No, hell no. Smart man. <laughs> right. You super duper smart. smart. I, I remember the, I watched the show Dave, and you, I'm not like going to do like a little dicky freestyle right now. Yeah. Hmm. Who do people put you in the mind of though? Like, is it like Macklemore? Is it like, like I should have never said a rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to make music for fun. Um, they're all sports related. One was about football. One okay. was about all sports. Um, I, I'm, I'm nowhere near as good as yeah, I got those you. people. Yeah. I totally got understand. You. All right, well, we appreciate you guys for joining us, Lamar. No oh, problem, no problem, no problem. Zach Hurts, keeping up with the sports podcast. If it ever comes out. It comes out. Yeah, it comes yeah. out. It's, <laughs> coming, it's, coming, it's out. coming out soon sometimes. In June. Yes. And in it's June. Breakfast Club. Good morning. Right. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.